San Antonio history could be changing. Local archaeologists believe they have found where the Spanish originally settled, and it's only one mile from the Alamo. We got a copy of that report released today, and in it, the unusual way this all unfolded and how the signs were there all along. Frank Monaco with the Christopher Columbus Italian Society says for decades they couldn't figure out why a portion of their parking lot wouldn't stay paved. The asphalt keeps coming up, it's always wet and we always have a hard time with her. Little did they know, a spring from the neighboring San Pedro Creek runs directly underneath the building in downtown San Antonio. A spring archaeologists now believe is the original location of Mission San Antonio de Valero, now known as the Alamo. We knew we were in a very old area of San Antonio, but we did not, uh, we did not believe that this had anything to do with uh, the actual founding of the city. City archaeologist Kay Hines made the discovery back in February while overseeing a tree project for Monaco's up-and-coming Italian village called Little Italy. The first thing I saw were pieces of wrought iron and wrought iron shouldn't be here. Hines teamed up with the Center for Archaeological Research to excavate a nine square foot patch behind the building, tracing artifacts back to 1718. A small glass trade bead, uh, a lead disc. Pretty excited about the possibility because I mean how many times do you just you know walk onto a site like that and you actually see colonial artifacts eroding out of the ground. Hines says archival records show Spanish settlers shifted the mission to San Antonio de Valero three times within a one mile radius. The La Vita area and the Alamo were the final two moves, but no one could pinpoint the first location. It's very exciting, you know, knowing that this is a, a really a potential hotspot for us and, and there's a lot to be learned, you know, still. We're, we're just scratching the surface, literally. The San Antonio Conservation Society gave a $5,000 grant to fund the dig, although they agree there is more to do. Probably means we need to do a whole lot more fundraising and, and uh, uh, be ready for the next phase of the project. Local archaeologists aren't completely ready to confirm their findings because they would like to discover at least one more artifact, a blue and white ceramic which they believe could be buried underneath this parking lot. A historical site underneath a historical site. This very same land is also home to the original Italian colony. Monaco says the timing can only help with the launch of his Little Italy dream and wonders if this could be divine providence. And talk about timing, the city is close to celebrating its 300th anniversary. If you would like to know more about Little Italy and a big event the Christopher Columbus Society is hosting this weekend, go to foxsanantonio.com and click on news links.